So, if you've just finished building your PC and you installed another hard drive or SSD, chances are you aren't seeing it anywhere in Windows. Assuming this is a new drive and all the appropriate cables are plugged in, this is entirely normal. To get your drive set up on your PC, go to the Start menu and search Disk Management. Click on the result that pops up and you'll be greeted with a window. You'll probably see a pop-up that informs you that you need to initialize this disk before it can be used. Click on the Initialize and you're ready to continue. If you aren't asked to do this, however, that's entirely fine. So, now that that's done, you want to find your hard drive or SSD. Assuming you have two drives, it should be the one that consists entirely of unallocated space. If you have multiple drives, then you'll just perform this operation multiple times. Now you want to right click here and choose New Simple Volume. The New Simple Volume wizard should appear. This tool will allow you to use that drive space to be able to save data to. Click Next. This part should have your entire drive space, so click Next again. The drive letter should be D if it's your second drive, but if not, don't worry, I'll address this momentarily. For format options, this should all be good. NTFS should be the file system, default, and I like to delete new volume so it gets named local disk, but really, you can name it whatever you desire. Since this is a new drive, it shouldn't have any data written to it, so make sure perform a quick format is left alone and checked. Click Next, and you can click Finish to apply your changes. This can sometimes happen where Windows will use the drive litter after the one your drive was previously using. So if you created a new volume on D, it probably changed to E. I like to change it back by right clicking and selecting Change Drive Letters and Paths. Click on Change and select the letter that your drive was originally. In my case, I'm changing my drive to G because it was the original letter and last I checked, G comes after H. Once you click OK, you'll get a pop-up saying that some programs that rely on drive letters might not work properly. This is the only time you should change drive letters as if you have a Steam library or another game library and change the letter, you'll have to reconfigure the library or rebuild it entirely. So, this is the only time to do this at all. Click Yes, and you'll see a pop-up showing your new drive letter. If you go to the File Explorer, you should see your new drive ready to go. Now you can create a Steam library and save other data to your second or however many drives you have. Just make sure that when you're installing a game that you choose to install it to the right drive. Now I'm going to show you how to optimize your drive for saving your data to. Unless you have one big C drive, you're going to probably want things like your Chrome downloads and other data to be stored elsewhere. Let's tackle all the default libraries such as downloads, documents, etc. For consistency, I like mimicking the way it's set up by default. So on the This PC page of the File Explorer, click on your new drive, create a folder named Users. Inside that folder, create a folder that's your username. Mine's Jeff, so I'll call it Jeff. It doesn't really matter, but you're not going to want to change it, so make sure you're happy with it. Now, open a new File Explorer window, click on your C drive, and before you ask, yes, it's completely fine to be messing around here as we're only messing with user files. Open the Users folder, open the folder with your name on it. I'm using a different user for demonstration purposes, but use your user folder. And inside, you'll see a bunch of folders with icons. This is where your downloads, music, etc. are saved by default. Rather than making new folders on the other drive, let's just copy these. Go back to the other file explorer tab, inside the username folder, and paste all the folders you copied from the C drive. If you've already downloaded stuff, you may want to delete those items in your current downloads folder, but it'll be taken care of shortly. Now go back to this PC, and we're going to change these folder locations to your secondary drive. Right click on a folder and choose properties. A window should appear. Choose location. As you can see, I've already done this with my actual drive, but let me show you what you need to do. Click on move. Click on your new drive. Go inside the users folder you just created. Choose the folder with your name and select the appropriate folder for the original folder you chose to change. In my case, I selected the 3D objects folder I'm changing its location to my G drive, so I'll choose the 3D Objects folder. Click Select Folder and Apply. Repeat this for all of the other folders on this PC with the appropriate folder on your new drive. You'll get a pop-up asking if you want to move the files from the old location to the new one. Click Yes and you'll get another pop-up probably asking if you want to replace the files in the destination because they're duplicates. Since we literally just copy and pasted, this is fine, so select Do This For All Items and click on Continue or Yes. 
Now when you download items from Chrome or any other browser, they'll secretly be saved to your secondary drive. You may need to confirm this in your browser, but that should be good there. The final thing I'm going to cover is game install locations. I'll show off Steam and Battle.net, but it should apply to most game launchers. First, on the File Explorer on this PC, go to your drive and make a new folder named Program Files. Again, I like to use the default Windows file structure because there's nothing wrong with it. Inside that folder, let's make a folder for a Steam library named Steam Library. Go to Steam so we can change the game install location. On the home page in the upper right corner, click Steam, then Settings, click Downloads, and choose Steam Library Folders. You'll only have one folder, but I'll show you how to add a new one. Click Add Library Folder, choose your drive for data, click on the plus next to Program Files, and click on the folder we created earlier. Click on Select, and you'll see your new folder. Make it the default by right-clicking and choosing Make Default Folder. Now all of your Steam games will install to that folder. Finally, I'll demonstrate on Battle.net. Let's say you're installing Warzone. Click Install, and under the Install location, click Change Folder, and select the Program Files folder. Now it'll install to that location. So, there you go. That's how you optimize Windows to best work with multiple drives. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comment section and I'll do my best to get back to you. If you did enjoy the video, hit that like button, but if not, you know where to go. While you're there, just hit subscribe to the channel and enable notifications for more quality tech videos. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.